Well, folks, as you can see, I'm recording this intro after I went and caught fish. I'm a little sweaty, um, but you have to bear with me here. I forgot to record it when I started. As you can see, I got some new glasses. I feel like I'm stealing uh, Realistic Fishing's whole MO here with the double bridge, thick rim glasses, but I went out and I purchased some nice polarized sunglasses so I can finally see the fish that I'm catching. So many times I go with my buddy and he's got the, you know, the Rapala branded, ra you know, polarized glasses and he can see every fish. He says, oh, you got a fish here, you got a fish there. I don't even look, I can't even find them. So finally joining the club um, and giving this a try. Went out to a shallow pond. I just decided to sight fish some bluegill and these glasses work pretty great. So what we got tied on there is a Donkey Tail Junior on a 164 ounce jig. Really light, four pound line. Really small, really light. I'm gonna try and catch some bluegill. Now I'm not sure, I, last time I was here, a lot of these gills were bedding, right? So they were up shallow just kind of sitting there, but they were really finicky. They weren't really interested in my baits at the time. So I'm not sure if they're still on bed. It doesn't look like it. Um, the water hasn't changed much, and it is just a very small, shallow pond, so they really don't have much elsewhere to go. So they hang around up in the sun here, which, you know, for a day like today where I'm testing these polarized lenses, lenses it was a good opportunity to do some sight fishing. I can definitely tell a difference with the polarized lens. This is definitely a bed here, but see, uh, I don't think they are bedding because he buzzed off pretty quick when he saw me. Those big carp, not that big, but for the size of the pond. A little bit of girth. That's a good bite. Oh, see? There we go. Oh, they're just not committing. I think they're just taking a nibble at that tail. It's almost, I don't know if it's too long or what, but they just, they're really just nipping at it. Nothing really wants to take that big bite. There we go. What's that? Oh, is that a large round? That is, it's a tiny large round. Really tiny. Okay, okay. Yeah. Real little large round. I wouldn't even call it a dink. That's too small to be a dink, man. Nothing really going on down here. Usually, I'm, uh, you know, good for at least a fish or two, but I don't see much action. Oh, there they go. Little, little guys, though. I don't see any size there. There's one. Oh, it's actually just another one of those little tiny bass. Keep moving. If I don't get any more bites soon, I'm tempted to switch to a more natural color. I have the black donkey tail junior as well. I may have to switch to that. There's a hit. Another hit. There we go. Oh, spit it right out, man. That was a nice one too. So there we go, I got the black donkey tail and that black jig head. Very natural looking. Um, nothing too bright. Might be the switch up I need. I'll give it a try. There we go. Oh my God, that thing was tiny. There's one. Dude, he's on that tail, man. There we go. That's a good hook. There we go. That's a nice fish. Oh, 
All right. That's a nice one. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's one of those little basses. Oh, it came off. That's right. Tons of little guys. Oh, there's two bass just hanging out. There we go. That's a good one. It's all right. It's actually pretty nice. It's got a belly on him too. Not bad. Oh, got him up over the log there. There we go. It's another one with a huge belly on him. So he's got eggs in it or something. Really fat belly. There we go. There we go. That one's not bad either. It's all right. I've never been here for trout opener, but I think it would be fun. That's a pretty good one. What's this guy? Oh, he's dark. Nice colors on this one. A nice big forehead on him too. It's a pretty nice fish actually. So yeah, that's about right fish and they all seem to have these big guts on them. I don't know if they're females with eggs or what's going on. I never really caught them this this full size. Just some healthy gills maybe. A lot of times by this time of year, I mean, the pond is just full of algae blooms. So I don't know if they're like treating it with something, but these are some pretty healthy fish. There's another one, another dark one. Oh, it came right off. I'll count it. Not that I need to, but I'll count it. These spawning fish really don't care. I see videos all the time where people are catching spawning bluegill like it's nothing, but I don't know if it's just my tactics or what it is, but they just don't care at all. So these ones kind of up here in the middle, they're just kind of up here at the top of the water, and I mean, they're just chasing it. There's two going for it right there. Neither one was big enough. That was another little guy. There's fish. I think he's just on the tail though. Oh no, he's hooked. There we go. Another gill. Nothing too crazy. Another nice little fish. There we go, another one. Another small one. Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, that's an all right fish.
toss them back in. So you know, as everybody always says, fish around structure. Right now I have some wood, you know, submerged wood here. And I don't want to get too close because yeah, I just got the ultralight. It'd be hard to pull some of these fish out, I think. But kind of just fishing by it. Swimming this little ultralight uh, swim jig. And I'm getting bites like crazy. There's a good one. Oh, I didn't even take it though. But there are just tons of fish here. Oh, wow. They're really just nipping at that. There we go. That's another good one. I'll take that. That's a pretty solid fish right there. Not bad out of a pond like this. Bluegill. All right, back in the drink he goes. There's a fish chasing, I don't even bug it off. Oh, I don't want these bass, man. Jeez. One of these little ditch pickles here. Just came right up out of nowhere. There we go. Nice small one, small, healthy. Well, folks, I think that's everything. We came, we saw, we conquered, caught a few bluegills and uh, even a couple of little ditch pickles. It's a pretty good session overall. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And as always, keep it realistic. Mm -hmm.